I'm going to give you over 10 years of motion design knowledge in just under 10 minutes. No fluff, no theory, just what actually works. Are you ready? Let's go. By the way, I've put together the ultimate motion background gallery, packed with exclusive high quality animated backgrounds to instantly 10 times your website, download it free using the link below, add them to any site, and make your brand stand out. Over the past decade, I've shipped more than 100 websites for startups, agencies, and tech companies. And through all of that, I learned exactly what keeps users engaged, what creates emotional connection, and what actually drives conversions. Here's what most designers will tell you. Keep it simple. Don't distract users. Static designs are clean and professional. You've probably heard that a million times. But here's the truth. That's outdated advice that designers keep repeating because it feels safe. I might have been one of those designers early on. And for that, I apologize. The reality is this. Motion elements are perceived 60,000 times faster than plain text. Your brain is literally wired to notice movement before anything else. And in a world where people are scrolling through hundreds of pieces of content every single day, if your website doesn't move, it doesn't matter. Thanks to social media, where we're all consuming a massive amount of content daily. We scroll through feeds hunting for something that catches our eye, something that feels alive, something worth stopping for. Static just doesn't cut it anymore. So the need to communicate visually, to use motion intentionally, isn't just a nice to have, it's critical. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Take a look at the Cloudflare Workers platform. You wanna make sure that the motion elements have a high degree of impact and purpose. Why? Because the main thing we want people to do on a website is engage and convert. If your animations don't support that goal, they're actually working against you. And please, I beg of you, stop animating everything. What happens when you animate everything? The user gets overwhelmed. They don't know where to look. The problem is that people get distracted and they leave your site. While building websites for founders, I repeatedly wasted dozens of hours per project looking for great motion graphics. I paid over $2,000 for motion design services that still produce low quality results very often. So I learned this the hard way. Here's the thing about motion design that most people miss. It is important to remember when using motion design that you need to keep a balance on your website. If you animate every element, then it may become overwhelming for the user. Instead, focus on animating those things that will bring the most leverage. Your hero sections, your call to actions, your value propositions, those are the things worth animating. Now here's where this gets really important. Recent improvements in AI Vibe coding tools allow web designers to switch from Framer and Webflow to lovable and similar tools. That's amazing for speed. But AI lacks resources for good quality motion graphics, which hurts perceived value and conversion. And if your site doesn't look premium, people won't treat it like it is. How do I know this works? I know exactly what works in AI Vibe coded websites. My posts on Axe got over 500,000 views on Twitter sharing AI-generated good quality websites. I was featured on Lovable.dev official social pages multiple times. This shows that demand for this market is very much alive. People are hungry for this. But here's the thing. Good motion without good conversion practices doesn't actually help your clients. You could build the most beautiful animated website in the world, but if it doesn't convert, it's useless to your clients. So what are good motion practices? Good motion is all about reducing friction for users. You want to make it stupid easy for users to understand what's happening and what to do next. And that's done through clarity. You want your animations to be crystal clear about where attention should go and what the user is supposed to do next, why they should even care. You also do it through intentionality. People aren't watching every animation. They're scanning through your site. So you need to animate things in such a way that guides their attention to the most important decisions. So where should you actually use motion on your website? Let me break down the four areas that give you the most bang for your buck. First up, hero background motion. This is one of those high leverage areas where you absolutely want to capture the user's attention and add animation. Why? Because the hero section is the first thing people see when they land on your site. If it doesn't grab them in the first three seconds, they're gone. You'll notice this element at the top of home pages where a video or animation plays behind the other elements on the page. This gives the user visual information about what the site is all about before they even read a single word. It also makes the website look modern and fresh, like it was built this year, not five years ago. Let me show you an example. Take a look at modal. See how that background motion immediately tells you this is a premium product. That's the power of hero animation done right. Then there's hover states. This is one of the most basic types of animation, but it's criminally underused. When a user hovers over a web element like a button, the design responds with motion to let the user know that it's clickable. Sounds simple, right? But here's why it matters. 
It's a great way to support easy navigation and inform users about the interactivity of elements. It contributes to the overall user experience in a massive way. What's more, it adds personality to your brand. It gives you a variety of ways to make your website and business stand out from competitors. A boring static button says basic template. A smooth hover animation says we care about details. Next up is loading animation. This is one of the most widely used types of animated UI, and for good reason. This type of animation informs users at what stage of a process they're at, offering reassurance and making it a captivating experience instead of a frustrating one. What's more, this type of motion can make slow loading times way less noticeable. Instead of staring at a blank screen wondering if something broke, users see progress. They know something's happening. And finally, there's interactive animation. This type of motion aims to get the user to actually engage with your website. It can provide users with feedback on their actions, like showing them 3D models of a product they can rotate, interactive map elements they can explore, or menu pages that respond to their scroll. This is where you turn a passive viewer into an active participant, and active participants convert way better than passive scrollers. Now, let me show you four quick motion wins with real-world examples that hook visitors instantly. These are sites that are absolutely crushing it with motion design. First, let's talk about Wabi.ai. They've got animated video on scroll, and it's storytelling that pulls you in. Here's what makes it work. Storytelling brought to life. Every section is a journey, with animations revealing the product narrative beat by beat. You don't just read about what they do. You watch the brand unfold right in front of you. It's like watching a movie instead of reading a manual. Next up is Focus4.app. These guys nailed hover effects. Move your mouse around and the interface springs to life, hinting at interactivity everywhere. Why does this matter? Because it turns curiosity into clicks. Users start exploring just to see what else responds. They're not passively scrolling. They're actively hunting for the next interaction. Then there's Tilt.io. They use animated video on scroll, and this is next level product teaching. As you descend the page, product demos and visuals animate fluidly, making complex features instantly digestible. Instead of overwhelming users with paragraphs of text explaining technical features, they show you. And showing always beats telling. And finally, Helium Mobile. This is interactive storyboarding done right. Elements react and shift as you explore, setting a high bar for user-driven motion that doubles as both a guide and a hook. The motion isn't just decoration, it's actually teaching you how to navigate and what to pay attention to. That's the difference between good motion and great motion. If you want a website that actually feels high value, where users feel the story, not just read it, motion can't be optional. Balance is key. Purposeful animation amplifies your message. Use it sparingly. Use it artfully. Use it now, or get scrolled past. Enjoyed this drop? Tap the like and keep building. You're only one powerful motion story away from standing out.